friends! In today's video, I have 20 new Zoom games for you that are Christmas. ready for Christmas. You need some Christmas games. I'm here to help out. I'm so excited about these 20 games. If we are meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome on this channel. I am passionate about bringing back family fun. All right, let's jump into these Zoom games because I know you all need some Christmas spirit. Move over COVID, Christmas is here. The first Zoom game I have for you is actually through Trivia Maker. I know I talk a lot about Trivia Maker because I absolutely love Trivia Maker. What better way to host a party than to have some Christmas trivia? You could host your favorite Christmas themed movie trivia game night, or you could do like a history of songs trivia, but there's just something classic about a trivia game night and Trivia Maker makes it so easy to customize your own trivia game. No, this video is not sponsored by Trivia Maker, but I am gonna post an affiliate link to down below if you want to check them out. Game number two is called Fa La 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 Emoji. Oh, okay. I think in the title I've actually put Fa La La Emoji, <laughs> but I feel like this title needs to be sung. Okay, that was horrible. Never ask me to sing, ever. <laughs> Before your Christmas party, go ahead and make a list of some emojis that go along with the Christmas song. To make it easier on yourself, pick four emojis, like I'm showing you here on the screen. Have people guess what the Christmas song is. Can you guess from these emojis right here what Christmas song I'm thinking about? Can you? Can you? Write it down in the comment section down below and I'll give you a star if you are correct. Now, how do you play this game on Zoom? Go ahead and create your emojis in a Word document or a Google document and screen share those PDFs or documents using the screen share feature on Zoom. You'll have to queue them up one at a time and then let people respond in the chat what song they think it is. And whoever gets the most correct wins the game. Game number three is called What's Missing Christmas. Now this game is already on my website, yes. Basically, I show you a slide like this. <laughs> people, you have seven seconds to memorize what's on the screen, then the screen disappears and you have to to guess what is missing. So you get another seven seconds to look at the screen and figure out which Christmas object is missing from the screen. And then the third slide shows you whether or not you guessed correctly which object disappeared. So this game is available already for an instant digital download over on my website, which I'll post in the description box down below. But it's a great memory game for both kids and adults. Game number three is called Christmas Would You Rather. You all have been loving my Would You Rather series on my website. <laughs> And I have a few posted for free on my YouTube channel. Some would you rather games that you can simply screen share the movie on Zoom. Christmas Would You Rather is also available on my website. Again, you can screen share and it will play a movie or you can upload your own images into a PowerPoint presentation or keynote presentation or Google Slides. All of my games on my website are like that. You can create your own presentation or you can use the movie file that is included in your purchase and simply screen share Share on Zoom. It can also be screen shared onto your TV at home. <laughs> Game number five is called Christmas Peekaboo. I wanted to offer something that's cute for preschoolers. So if they're <laughs> learning to identify their words with pictures and you want some Christmas themed game to go along with that, again, this is available over on my website, Christmas Peekaboo. I show a cute something object hiding behind a Christmas tree. Kids have to guess what the object is. My daughter is three years old. She <laughs> loves playing the games from this series. There's a whole series of peekaboo <laughs> games that she will ask to watch over and over. I do have some for free on my YouTube channel. All right, enough talking about games that are available on my website. Game idea number six is a Christmas scavenger hunt. Yes, so go ahead and pop up a list of five to 10 Christmas objects that you would like players to go and find around their house. So don't tell them, don't 
don't tell them what the objects are before they hop on to the Christmas party. Pop up the list onto the screen using screen share and set a timer for one minute and see who can find the most objects from your list in one minute and bring back to the space to show everybody. So this way, <laughs> players have to use their memory, they have to remember what is on the screen and get some little exercise, they have to get up and retrieve some objects. Also creates a fun little share and tell time at the end of the game where players can show off the items that they found around their house from the list. And of course the winner, <laughs> the winner, the winner is determined by whoever finds the most items on your list. Christmas bingo is game idea number seven and I actually have, I'm holding it right here in my hands, you can't see it yet, I actually have a physical product with some fun Christmas bingo cards that I'm going to show you. But I would suggest you mail your bingo cards out to your players before the Christmas party so that everybody has their own bingo card ready to go. And I'm gonna suggest this cute little game right here. Christmas Bingo, who is this by? I always get this wrong, Bible Games Central. I will post their information down in the description bar box. This bingo Christmas game was gifted to me for free, but I was under no obligation to show it to you, but I absolutely love it. We've been playing it a lot. It works great for my preschooler because the cards, actually she can match up the cards with the squares on the bingo card so she can do the pictures, but it also has the words written down so that if you're just calling them out then everybody can put down their bingo <laughs> by the name so my son loves it we love it as a whole family I just highly recommend and it's good quality paper too but you could easily mail these to your players and then here are the little cards that come the calling cards that you would call aren't they cute they're so adorable okay so I just I just had to show you that one. Game number eight is zoomed in Christmas version. Yes, everybody loves a good game of zoomed in. So go ahead, go to unsplash.com, download some free Christmas images, pop open the preview on your screen on your computer of all the images that you are going to be playing with and click the little magnifying glass in the preview window, zoom in on the picture, then start your Zoom meeting screen share, go to the screen share feature, you will see all of the uh, pictures, the images that are already on your desktop will be loaded already into the screen share option on Zoom. And then you can click one at a time and use the little magnifying glass to zoom out until your players guess. Whoever guesses the most images correctly, wins the game. I do have a video explaining another way of playing the zoomed in game. I will link it in a card right here if you would like to watch it. Game number nine is called Guess That Christmas Song. But wait, there's a twist. You're not just gonna hum the Christmas song. I mean, you could. You could just hum the Christmas song and have players guess what Christmas song you were humming. But let's make this a little more fun. Let's make it Christmas mouth version. Okay, so you're gonna squeak. <laughs> You're gonna squeak the Christmas song. So it would go something like, I don't know, squeak, 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 squeaker, squeaker, squeak. Could add some squeakers, some squeak squeakities <laughs> into the song. And it'd just be a cute little twist on a classic Christmas game. Game number 10 is called Christmas Movie Extra. Before your party, ask your players to pick out their favorite Christmas movie or an image that they can change their virtual background to that represents either their favorite Christmas movie or just a random obscure scene from a Christmas movie. <laughs> then when you have your Christmas party, you'll play this game, Christmas Movie Extra, and everybody will switch their virtual background and take turns guessing what everybody's background, what movie everybody's background is from. So you'll be like an extra starring in the background of your movie. And so everybody will type in chat what movie they think is in everybody's background, and whoever guesses the most correctly wins the game. Game number 11 is called, There's Room for Everyone on the Nice List. In this game, all players will be creating a list together, but there is a twist. You're basically going to be creating Santa's list. So one person will start off giving a name like this. The next person will have to use the last letter of that name to call out a second name for Santa's list. 
And then the third person will use the last letter of the second person's name and create a name with that letter. And you keep playing until everybody runs out of names or until they just can't think of one. So there are two rules you must follow. One, you have to use the last letter of the previous name to create your name. You cannot say the same name twice and you are eliminated if you say the name twice or if you cannot come up with a name for Santa's nice list. Last person playing the game wins. Game number 12 is called Santa's coming. I mean, really, he is, right? He's coming. He'll be here when I'm filming this video. He'll be here in about six weeks. So Santa's coming. Like that's, that's good news for 2020, right? Santa, Santa's still coming. <laughs> We need some good news. This game is best played with a large group of people. The party host is going to text or private message through the Zoom chat feature. One person to be Santa. Now all the players will close their eyes, except for the Santa. And the Santa is gonna say, ho, 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 in a disguised voice. <laughs> Then the Zoom host will tell everybody to open their eyes and players have to type in chat who they think the secret Santa is. Whoever wins that round and guesses the secret Santa first, that person then gets to text or private message through the Zoom chat feature, somebody else to be the secret Santa. But if no one guesses who the secret Santa is, then that secret Santa gets to say, hey, it was me. And then they get to pick who is going to be the next secret Santa. Because you know, Santa's coming. <laughs> game number 13 is finish the phrase. Now I like to play this game using movie quotes from my favorite Christmas movie. So I'm gonna use the example of Buddy the Elf. I found you, daddy. So beforehand, go ahead and just Google or look on Pinterest some favorite phrases from your favorite Christmas movie. Hey! Have you seen these toilets? They're ginormous! Buddy the Elf has a lot of memorable Christmas phrases, perfect for this game. You sit on a throne of lies. Write those phrases down, and for your party, you will read the first half of the phrase. Sorry, I can't ride with you the rest of the way up. And then players will type in chat the second half of the phrase. Sorry, I can't ride with you the rest of the way up, but this is where my dad works. And whoever gets it correct gets a point. <laughs> and then whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. Speaking of Buddy the Elf, game number 14, the title, Smiling's My Favorite Thing, <laughs> is one of Buddy the Elf's favorite sayings. Before your Christmas party, okay, you're gonna need to poll your guest a few things. Ask players to give you their favorite items from a list of categories, okay? So I'm gonna give you some suggestions of categories that you need one favorite item from all of your guests to your party, okay? So they're gonna need to tell you, I'm gonna read it off of here. They're gonna need to tell you their favorite Christmas food, favorite snack, favorite Starbucks drink, favorite cookie, favorite color, favorite athletic clothing brand, favorite gum, favorite computer brand, favorite gaming system, favorite restaurant, favorite fast food joint, favorite vacation spot, etc. You could have as many categories as you would like. You all saw where this was going, right? <laughs> you are going to create a family feud style game. And guess what program you can use for this? My favorite trivia maker. <laughs> yes, you can just plug all of these categories and all of your players' responses into the Family Feud game. Customize it in Trivia Maker. Game number 15 is called Bob Ross Christmas Contest. All right, if you don't know who Bob Ross is, maybe you're too young, I suggest you Google who Bob Ross is and Bob Ross's style of painting trees. This is very distinct, right? Very distinct. Who else? Who else is a fan of Bob Ross? Grew up watching Bob Ross on the couch. Okay. So how can you play this on Zoom? Well, the Christmas contest is everybody will need to open up their screen share feature, get a blank, a blank screen share, uh, whiteboard feature, and they need their annotation tools. Set a timer for one minute and players have to create their best Bob Ross impersonated Christmas tree using only the annotation tools available in Zoom. And then all players will vote on which Christmas tree they think is the best Bob Ross Christmas tree. Game number 16 is extreme candy cane game. All right, so if you know how to play spoons, 
I'm going to post some instructions on how to play this game in the description box down below. But you play this just like spoons, except on Zoom, and instead of a spoon, use a candy cane. Now, I don't have a candy cane because I haven't found any candy canes in the grocery store so far because, you know, it's still before Thanksgiving, or I would show you how to play this <laughs> with candy canes. So instead of a spoon, substitute a candy cane in for extreme spoons. If you want to see extreme spoons played, I will also link a video where I show you how to play extreme spoons through Zoom on Zoom. I'll link that in the description box down below. Game number 17 is called Roll the Die, Let's Get Moving Christmas Edition. Now the Zoom host is the only one who will need a die and will need to assign a movement to all six sides of the die so that when you roll the die, all of your players, this would be great for classrooms, all of your players will do the movement associated with what number is on top for the die. For example, shake the present, decorate the tree, make the cookies, put on the star, ride the donkey. I mean, you know, there's a donkey in the Christmas story. Mary rides in on the donkey and freestyle. Game number 18 is Words Within Words Christmas Edition. Give your players a word like Christmas posted on the screen share option. Players must type in chat how many words within the word Christmas they can come up with. And the person who guesses the most wins. You could have a lot of different rounds of this game. You could use word, what? My hair just came out of my head. You could use words like ornament, Rudolph, Santa, Bethlehem, lots of options. Game number 19 is called Hide the Ornaments. Ask all of your players before your party to bring a Christmas ornament to your Zoom Christmas party. And then instruct them to hide their ornament somewhere in the background on their Zoom so it can be visible behind them. Players take turns guessing where the ornament is in each person's background. Now what's even cooler is you could, after everybody has found all the ornaments, you could give people a chance to tell something about the ornament. You know, where it was made, does it have special significance, where was the ornament bought, who gave them the ornament. There usually is a special story behind every Christmas ornament, right? And if you need a winner, whoever guesses where the ornament is located first in each of everyone's backgrounds, racks up a point, and then the person with the most points wins the game. Oh my goodness, we're down to the very last Zoom Christmas game. If you've been enjoying this so far, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel because I have lots of Christmas content coming out for you. Game number 20 is called Christmas Colors. This game works for all ages and also can be a learning game for younger children. <laughs> Call out a color and every player has to run, dash, find something Christmassy of that color and bring it back and show everybody. Red. Each person that pops back into their seat with the object first earns a point and the player with the most points at the end of playing the game wins the game. Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Virtual hugs because I know it's going to be hard and difficult this season with COVID going on. 